Welcome to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and today we're going to talk about the last month of 2020, December. I will bring you the forecast for the sign of Pisces. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Pisces, then this video is for you. So Pisces, <laughs> what a crazy year it's been, right? Like. And it's not ending, like December has a lot in store as well. But before we start, I just want to say this is a general reading. So see what resonates with you. And if you would like to have a more specific reading, you can book one with me by sending me an email that you find in the description box below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know how you're feeling in the comments. Please share with me. I would love to know how this all resonates with you. So, in the month of December, we're having a major uh, transit of Saturn and Jupiter moving into Aquarius. So, the last, more or less, three years, we had Saturn in Capricorn, the sign related to authority, the fatherhood. And, you know, on a worldly level, we could say that this could relate to the government and governmental systems. And we really had to revise what is working for us and what's not. And when we think of Aquarius, uh, Aquarius is the sign of uh, freedom, of it's very futuristic, future oriented. It's rebellious. It wants to, you know, change everything. And what's more, like this year we had Saturn already going into Aquarius for a little bit before it went back retrograde into Capricorn. And what happened, you know, is that freedom was taken away. Mask, you had to be more at home or we have to be more at home. And this makes us think about how we value our freedom and, you know, what is freedom to us. And, you know, on a global level, you can clearly see this all happening. And then what happens is we're, we're starting to work from home. We're starting to work more online. That's all related to Aquarius. And for you, Aquarius is in your 12th house. And this is the hidden part of your of all the 12 houses and it's in your own house. This is the house of undoing. It's where you close everything you know that you've been through it's like closing a chapter so when uh saturn is going into your 12th house this is really uh putting things to the light related to karma and service of the world you know if you if you haven't really connected to something higher than yourself or really connected with uh you know selfless service there might be something coming on your path that is really bringing you into the selfless service to the world and really bringing you more responsibility towards that. Or maybe you have a hobby that maybe doesn't bring you as much money, but is giving you this really satisfactory feeling. And Jupiter is going to your 12th house, which is basically protecting Saturn in the 12th because Saturn can do some damage, you know, it's like really karmic in the 12th house, uh, bringing your responsibility to the huge masses. So it could be that suddenly with Jupiter there, uh, you might get more fame than you thought you would get for something, some idea that you're having. You know, and um, <laughs> this is bringing you to suddenly responsibility that you're like, what? Oh, okay, this was just a test. I was just trying something out and there you are. <laughs> the whole masses are checking this out. You know, this is more the subconscious. So it could be related to anything Aquarian, like human uh, humanitarian. And also as a Pisces, you're very psychic. And you're very, um, 
you have a lot of empathy towards the world and you know you have neptune in your first house so you can channel so many messages right now like it's insane and you can use these messages to really run your life to really make decisions you know because often when you're trying to think intellectually about decisions you're not really getting out there you really have to get it from feeling how do i feel about the situation sleep over it one night don't decide too fast because other outside factors might really influence the decision because you're like the waves you know it's like <laughs> like someone comes and your waves are shaking so you need to have calm waters and then you can decide on something so this is very important to you and then we have Mars trining this whole bunch uh, during the new moon in Sagittarius. And this is a solar eclipse new moon happening in your 10th house. <laughs> so really, um, if you have some idea of you're really going to rock it at work, if you're tuned into the divine, because the 10th house is really about your job and how you're shown to the outside world, and uh, I don't know if you want to start something online uh, because you also have Uranus is in the third house. So you might as well do something online like writing, making videos, uh, do some kind of online work and help people with something with Midheaven in Sagittarius there. And now you're having Venus also close to the Midheaven. <laughs> People are going to fall in love with you. Oh my God, you're like really beautiful to the outside world right now. People really see you. And Venus is conjuncting uh, Juno in the ninth house. And, you know, there might be some love coming in for you uh, from afar away. Or maybe someone from your past is coming back that maybe you once met on a travel or you know someone who's from another culture or you're really dreaming about a soulmate that is from another culture because you feel you are this really understanding person and uh, with this time we're going into the aquarian uh time you really feel like this equality you know this time right now with this aquarius energy it's really time that we don't see difference in each other anymore but we embrace that we are all one and we are all unique in our own ways, but equal. No one is more special. No one is better. No one is lower. We are equals. And, you know, for you with Mars in the second house in December and Chiron moving, uh, stationing direct on the 15th of December, you really have to heal the wounds that's stopping you from uh, having a high self-worth because you know money was actually just running out of your life because your self-worth was lacking and Chiron there is pointing these wounds out so maybe you can do some affirmations uh, for self-value and self-worth and you will see money starts rolling back into your life <laughs> Just, uh, you know, be prepared because money will come in again. And we're having a full moon in Cancer, a fellow water sign in your fifth house. So, uh, you know, you might have a great creative expression. And then we have Venus conjunct the south nodes. So someone uh, might come back again. Someone from a past life, someone from your past and this person wants to date you just be careful because there's a lot of frustrated mars energy so if someone is very pushy sleeping with you or very pushy like wanting to throw you in a corner be careful with that keep them at a good boundary and i know pisces boundaries are sometimes very difficult for you but it's super important right now that you have your boundaries and you know if you tell this person you have your boundaries they will respect that they will respect that and if they if they're not that's not the good person for you you know uh, but it's really about you um, being in the public eye and you know embracing this you know like you want people to take you for 
or to embrace you for who you are. And that's a very big subject. Yeah, you're really going back into harmony. You know, you've been in the waiting game, emotional withdrawal. You really have to be by yourself. And, you know, the first part of December, you still have to be a lot by yourself to understand what it is that you need to do. So you are working really hard. You're focusing on yourself. You're creating harmony. And this is bringing you the triumph that you've been looking for. So really take this example of the water that needs to become still in order to understand what, what you're really feeling without all the vibrations of the outside telling you this and telling you that and telling you that. You have to tune into your own self, you know, and understand what it is that you need to do. So even if I'm telling you this, you need to check with yourself first. Is this something I am in integrity with? Is this something I feel is resonating with me? So don't just take what I say. <laughs> Think about it and be like that with everyone, you know? Like uh, your moon uh, is opposing Pluto. It's not a very close opposition, but it's very important that you really dive deep into your feelings and understand who's real with you and who's not. Uh, and, and, and watch out for people manipulating you or you manipulating people. Can be two ways, you know? So, yeah. Money coming, you, know, you see all these opportunities around you and you're just really afraid which road to take. This is why you need to be alone to understand which of the opportunities you're gonna take and you're going to uh, create this harmony of money coming in and money coming out, you know, because there have been some struggles and uh, you have to find the balance between your masculine energy and your feminine energy. So you have this really, you know, either one of the two you've been lacking. And I feel that, you know, you've been in a very feminine state where uh, you were really in tune with your artistic expression. But that's why money was ro rolling out because you struggled with like um, with a routine. And this could be because you were working from home and this routine was really like, <laughs> you were like, oh my God, these routines are, yeah, are not really for me, but really try to stick to routines because it's very necessary for your health and for the harmony that can bring you only more. Wow. I have like this past life cards and I'm getting spiritual spirituality and religion. So you did have past lives related to spirituality and religion. So you just have to remember to have faith in the situation that you're in. You know, that things are changing and you're really... Um, once you do realize how much power you possess, you can be in the picture. And, uh, you know, medicine woman, medicine man. So really, you can take care of your health. You have to take care of your health. Uh, maybe you need to go to a doctor if, if you feel something is going on. But also you could have been like a medicine woman or man in your past life. And this is coming back to you. This is really coming back to you. And I feel like you want to have some romance card, so I'm going to get it for you, <laughs> Pisces. I'm going to get it for you. No, that's too much. Come on. That's too much. Pisces, what do we have? Wow. There's so much that wants to come out. Let's be patient, peoples. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow, Pisces. <laughs> so yeah, you recently have been through a breakup, some of you, or you know, you have been through a breakup uh, a while ago, but there have been something and you kind of avoided letting anyone else in after this breakup. It's been like, it's very difficult for you to trust anyone else. To trust and also trust in yourself that your judgment is good. Again, we're going back to this harmony and still waters, which is the answer to that question. And then I'm having wedding rings and kisses. So most definitely, very soon, someone is coming into your life 
you've been thinking about marriage, you've been thinking about hugging someone, this warmth that you're missing. Um, I don't know, like there's a third type card flying around. Yeah, that's the feminine card. So I feel this has to fly. <laughs> has to fly. You have to, uh, you know, you've been in your femininity, but when you're balancing this masculine and feminine again, because usually I have to recommend being more feminine, but in your case, I feel that you have to to grab the horn by the balls. Is that expression? I hope so. And um, yeah, to get it all together. So you're ready for this commitment because commitment is something major and you've been thinking about it and you definitely, I, I feel if you meet someone, it's definitely towards the end of December, maybe during the holidays, that would be so romantic, but you're craving stability and maybe this person you were with was not on the same level as you when it comes to stability and you know even if you are in a relationship you really have to talk about what you want you know this happiness that you're craving yeah suffering and silence new beginnings and fertility so really creative expression is important uh you really have to tell people what you want in a relationship because otherwise you keep suffering and you know your partner wouldn't understand or the person you're dating wouldn't understand or you yourself wouldn't understand but a new beginning is definitely happening so it's very important for you to have clear what you really want you know if you're one day there and the other way there nothing what you really want can can happen to you so you really have to be clear about what it is that you really, really want in life. So what do you really, really want? <laughs> Isis. <laughs> okay. Um, do we have one more thing for you? Yeah, we'll have one more card. One more card for Pisces. Okay. A date, look at that, a date. I mean, this is a man, it could be a woman, it could be anything. So someone's going to ask you out. <laughs> How lovely. How nice is that? So keep it calm. You don't have to decide right away if this is someone for you. Don't rush into marriage or anything like that. See it as a real commitment. So something that you don't just jump into. So really take it step by step and understand what it is that really makes you blossom and don't forget to shine because you really have you are in the picture right now and you are seen and you're very pretty and handsome and charming um so don't forget to just focus on love but also focus on the part of business and uh, oh sorry <laughs> this is what i really want to give to you pisces don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment on how this resonates with you. I would love to hear it. And really, Pisces, bless you a million. And hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.